Hi everyone, this is Darcy and today I'm going to talk about my Sephora sales recommendations for the spring sale that is coming up this year, which is pretty exciting. On this video, I'm going to talk about hair products, face tools, skincare, lips, and much more. So if you want to check out my recommendations, keep on watching. And we are live, so hopefully at the end, if you guys are hanging out, we can go to the chat and you can tell me your recommendations because I'm getting my cart ready for the sale, so I love your recommendations as well. And if you like this type of videos, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And at the end of the video, since this is a live video, I always like to put timestamps below so that way you can jump anywhere in the video in case you watch this as a replay. And at the end, we always go in the chat to hang out and talk about more stuff on the sales. So now let's get to it, guys. I'm going to start with face tools and I mean with tools in general because this actually this video could kind of be called as well favorites or things I have used for a long time or have repurchased a lot because a lot of those things I'm going to talk about today I actually have gotten them during the sales because they're some of the price it's the best to get some high price items since you get great sales and by the way I'll give all the sales information and affiliate links for all the products on the description box below so you can click on those links they are affiliate links so they do support my channel but you can have all the information on the description box below if you want to check it out. Um, also, I'm going to start with face tools and tools, which are, again, high ticket items, which I highly suggest you get during the sale since you save some money. And all the items that I am going to talk about are things I have used for a while or things that I used since last year, which I'll talk about and give you my true, honest opinion. The first one, shouldn't be a surprise, is my Foreo Bear, which is literally my favorite microcurrent device because it is fast and easy to use. And I have tons and tons of reviews on my channel, I mean, of tutorials on my channel uh, from this tool because it is literally the tool that I use the most as microcurrent because it is easy to use. I have other amazing microcurrent tools too. We'll leave the whole playlist in the description box below. And I find the micro microcurrent, again, if you're not familiar with microcurrent, is a type of technology that helps to lift your muscles and use electricity. And this one is uses both T-sonic pulsations and also microcurrent. So it gives you an extra lift because it relaxes the muscles as well. So I had this, I have this one for a very, very long time. So it's a really good idea to get it during the sales. They also sell the mini. There is a for your bear regular size and for your bear mini but honestly and i talk about it on many videos i prefer the full size i do have the mini but i find that i don't use it as often because the difference between the full size and the mini which i have somewhere in my drawer is that again the size the mini has smaller you know probes so you can get to smaller areas but honestly if you watch my tutorials you can use this all over your face you can just lower the intensity and the for your bear full size goes to level five and the mini only goes to level three because it is made for more delicate areas but if you want to save i highly recommend just get the full size and watch my tutorials i basically use this everywhere you just lower the intensity and it really works and again Definitely suggest during the sale since you get it for a good discount price. Uh, for your site, they have discounts throughout the year, but it is a good deal if you get it now during the sale. So I highly recommend, and I'll leave my whole For Your Bear uh, playlist on the description box below so you can look at my before and afters and tons of tutorials because I have used this for a long time. I highly, highly recommend. So the second thing I recommend and is a recommendation, but I also talk more about it too, so you can pay attention. This one is the Dr. Gro uh, Dennis Gross Spectralite Mask, and I got this actually on the Sephora sale years ago. I have talked about it on my channel before. I do like this mask. However, I find that if you can get it on sale, then I'd recommend. If you cannot get it on sale, I will talk about two other masks that I recommend more for the price point. But I would have to be honest, this mask I love, my husband still uses, but there are some things that I want to mention to you in case you want to get the mask because I'm a very honest channel and I will give you the lowdown since I had this mask for a long time. One, it is very long lasting. I don't remember. Uh, this is one of the first LED masks I've purchased a long, long time ago, like, I don't know, more than five years or more and still works. So is long lasting. The thing I never like about this mask and you guys can see I remove it is the strap. So I want to give you guys a heads up that the strap is not good. I don't understand. This mask is so expensive. 
I would understand why they haven't changed the strap to a more sturdy strap because I found the strap was always kind of loose, never really kind of held the mask together. So that's why I want to give you guys honest review. And that's why this I don't use this as much because I have other masks that I love that I actually on the same price point, but I keep it around because my husband does use it. It's very nice and it's big, you know, for people that have bigger faces. And he just holds it for three minutes. And if my other masks are not charged and this one is charged, I will use it once in a while. But I did use it a long time ago and I did get results. So it does work. But for the price point, I find that if you can get it on sale and you're interested on this mask, get it on sale. But otherwise, I would not recommend because from the price point, you can get other other amazing LED masks that I have reviewed on my channel. I'll mention two options here that they don't sell at Sephora, but it's something to consider if you're looking into good LED masks. One that is very, very compatible to this one, which I actually like it better, is the Cure Mask, which is also a three-minute LED. This both do three minutes. They both do red and blue. And I like the Cure better because, again, it's long-lasting and the straps are really, really sturdy. It doesn't give me a headache. And even though it is um, a hard mask, it is very comfortable to use. And I have links on the description box. I'll put links for the Cure. If you're interested to find out more about it, you can use the Cure with the app or without the app. I love the Cure for a quick treatment and reminds me a lot, a lot of the Dr. Dennis Gross, which was the first mask I bought. But I use the Cure mask more often than I do the Dr. Dennis Groves, but I want to mention because they don't sell the cure at the Sephora, but if you can get it on sale, highly recommend it. It is last, long lasting, but there's an issue with the strap that I really hope they eventually fix it, but they haven't. So if you don't mind the straps being a little loose, highly recommend and you can hold the mask and it is good quality and you do see results. If you want to upgrade and again, into the same price value of a mask that I like it even better than the Cure because it's more complete, but it's a 20-minute treatment. I recommend the Adoro, which is a, another LED mask that is very flexible. It is very comfortable. I have reviews on these masks, and I'll put the link on the description box below. Because for the price point, and that's what I want to mention, if you if you get this on sale, it's worth it. If, if you're watching this video and the sale has already gone, um, I would definitely suggest you check either the Adoro or the Cure Mask because they are a much better value for the price that you pay. The Adora one has 11 settings and all the lights that you can imagine. I have a whole review. I'll put the link on the description box below if you want more information about the Adora. The only thing is that the Adora is a 20 minute treatment, but it's a very, very strong mask with many different features, which I recommend. So if you watch this and the Sephora sale is done, definitely check those two, either the Cure or the Adoro because for the price point is a much better deal. But if you can get this on sale, I recommend it is a good product. If you don't mind the straps being loose, which I don't understand, it's such expensive mask, such high quality, I don't understand why they don't upgrade the straps. But if you just, you can just use the straps until they kind of fall apart, which will happen to me, and then you can take them off and just hold the mask. It's a three minute treatment, so it does go by fast. So I do recommend it, but it has those little things that I want you to be aware of when you're making your decision. So recommend, but, you know, a little slash. Another thing I actually purchased during the sale, I bought this mask during the sale too many years ago. Another thing I bought during the Sephora sale is the Dyson Air Wrap, which I recommend, but also has a little butt in it. So you can kind of understand, you know, why, uh, you know, you understand my experience using it so you can get, you know, the reason why I recommend, but there's a slash <laughs> but to it. I love this so much. I, I find that it actually helps me save money. I mean, if you're not familiar with the Dyson Air Wrap, it comes with many different attachments. I actually just did my hair with this today and you can use with this attachment. Actually, the attachments that I use the most are these three, but it comes with more attachments as well. I use mostly these three attachments here. Those are the ones that I use the most. And you can also dry your hair. It has an attachment for drying the hair and it comes with a beautiful box that's super luxurious and you can use for travel or storage. But I do like this and I do use it a lot. I use it for drying my hair and styling. I did it today. So basically the point of this is that it uses air to, you know, uh, I'm sure you guys by now know what it is. It uses this air technology, so it kind of dries your hair and style at the same time. Um, so what I mean that I like it 
but is that it is a little bit of a hard learning curve. I still haven't really got the full hang of it and I have it for a year, but I do use it, but I find that I don't use it to its full potential because it is a little bit hard to use. So just keep that in mind. But it, that, it does it does save you some money on hairstylists because a lot of times I will go get my hair blown dry just to get a regular, you know, style and it saved me some money so I don't have to actually go to the hair salon and I find that it makes my hair really smooth and really nice so I do like it it does save a little bit of time not a lot to be honest I thought it would save me a lot more time my hair usually takes me an hour to dry but with the Dyson it takes me half an hour still a lot of time to not not gonna lie it's not like five minutes because I have a lot of hair but it still saves me some time and saves me some money on the long run since I don't do hairstyles. So I like usually, the way I use it is I first blow dry it, which I forgot the attachment is in the bathroom. There's a little blow dry attachment. And then after it's like a little moist, I go with this one to smooth it out. This one is the attachment that's kind of, kind of smooths the hair out and finishes drying it out. Then I use this round attachment to just kind of shape the hair and recently i started using this attachment here which is for curling the hair i'm going to show you a photo now which which kind of look you can get i like this big one big one because i find that it just makes my hair really let me show you the photo here one second it makes my hair sort of like the victoria's secret type of style because it is a big barrel it kind of gives the hair really nice and soft waves and first it looks a little curly but then once the waves come down uh, the photo that you see on the screen right now it kind of lasts me a day like the next day is still a little wavy but it doesn't give you like the full full curls because it is the bigger barrel but even the smaller barrels i find that it doesn't last on my hair quite a lot and it takes me a long time to do it so i like doing with the big barrel to just get this kind of wavy style but i still have to get the hang of the smaller attachments and use them more often but i really haven't had found the time to do it when I do my hair I usually just have to do it like in and out uh, so I kind of when I do it I just use the attachments that I mentioned and I do really well with those but I don't feel like I'm using it to the full potential so if you're somebody that don't like to spend a lot of time learning a new tool then it's not for you because it's pretty expensive I did buy during the sale last year it has been a year and I still find that I don't use it as often as I want to because it takes a little bit you know, getting used to doing it. And also, <laughs> I wish I've learned more about using the other tools for styling. I don't have the patience. So, but those are the ones I love. And I do recommend because during the sale, definitely if you're looking into this one, and I did, like, this was on my cart for, like, as soon as it came out <laughs> for many years. And I watched so many tutorials. And and I'll, it works for a lot of people. But when I first bought it, I couldn't use it for months because I could not figure out how to get this to work. Now, a year later, I can get some good hairstyles. I find that my favorite is just a regular straight blow dry that I find that it looks good. It looks like I went to the hair salon. So for me, it's worth it. But you have to see if it's worth it for you. And keep that in mind that it's not like an easy one to just pick up and go. You kind of have to learn a little bit. And a year later, I'm still... I'm still learning so it does take some time and from all the hair tools that I have is the one that is least user friendly but it does give you good results so I still recommend if you are looking into something that expensive definitely is is worth it to purchase during the sale but I would not purchase this if it's not on sale because it is pretty expensive even with the sale price it's still pretty expensive but I do recommend and whenever I get it my hair done with the air wrap people stop me and they ask what I do with my hair and they you know so it does definitely work when you get it to to work but you know you have to see if you are willing to have the learning curve but it's worth it during the sale since we're on hair I'm going to talk a little bit about some hair products then I go into the skincare and some lip products and some repurchases that I often buy during the sale as well so as far as hair this is actually both empty so it should be consider an empties video as well as opposed to <laughs> just a Sephora favorites and this I have purchased repurchased so many times and they're like things I use very very consistent this one is the K18 Biome metric from hair science oh, sorry if I butchered the name whoopsie there you go focus focus there you go 
And I'll put all the links on the description box below in case, you know, it's fuzzy to see. This is a very interesting product because my hair was toasted, guys. I highlighted my hair my birthday last year, July, and it fried to a crisp. It was really bad. And this was the only thing that made my hair manageable. And what it does is a very different technology. It's completely empty now. And when you wash your hair with this, you don't use hair conditioner you basically wash your hair with a clarifying shampoo to get all the buildup and then you don't use conditioner get out of the shower you know just kind of comb your hair and put a little bit of these and then you can style and it kind of bonds the hair and makes the hair really soft and actually treats the hair as well especially if you have like damaged hair from highlights or damaged hair from you know dye in your hair this is a lifesaver i've been purchasing and repurchasing and it has really uh, recuperated my hair a lot from what it was um, it was like hey you know when you fries your hair really bad it was so bad and it didn't look so bad on my videos because i've been using this and it's amazing so i'll definitely repurchase because it's pretty expensive so i recommend purchasing during the sale it's definitely worth it and even though it's pretty small you don't need a lot i usually do a few pumps and i kind of is very concentrated and go through the hair you don't need to like soak your hair in it so don't get scared about the tiny bottle because it did last me a long time and again i don't wash my hair all the time i wash like once a week but i you often use this a few times a month and it did last me a long time so i highly recommend and i will be repurchasing because mine is completely empty another hair product that i cannot live without is a dry shampoo since i only wash my hair once a week if I'm lucky, sometimes I have to be honest, it takes a little lot more than a week uh, because, again, it takes me half an hour to blow dry my hair and, you know, who has time for that? So basically, this one is another, like, lifesaver because I don't wash my hair as often, is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I have, re I have mentioned other dry shampoos. Um, I like the one from um, Dry Bar as well. But that one leaves you a little bit of a white cast. This does not leave you a white cast. And this actually has a technology that it truly cleans your hair as opposed to just absorb the oils. It has something on it that when you put it on, your hair doesn't feel... Like, you know when you use dry shampoo a couple of times, your hair starts looking crunchy? <laughs> TMI, but it's true. Like, if you know, you know, if you're using dry shampoo and then you wait a couple of days and you use it again it can get a little crunchy with this done doesn't do that it makes your hair really soft and it feels like you just washed your hair so it's one of the few dry shampoos that i've used that actually feels like you washed your hair as opposed to just covered up and start building up but obviously if you use products like this i highly recommend using clarifying shampoo once in a while because it does have a build up obviously but it doesn't give you that crunchiness or the you know the flakiness and the white cast that other dry shampoos give to me so i would definitely repurchase and i have already is fully empty right now so it is a repurchase and a recommendation for sure uh, now let's go into skincare because i have some cool items that are empty that i will be repurchasing and i often repurchase them during the sephora sale and is the first one i'm going to talk about is the pharmacy niacinamide night mask i have repurchased this one so many times guys it's completely empty and i actually have repurchased this i have gifted this so many times to my friends and they love it too because it is one type of night mask if you're not familiar with night mask it is usually used in the evenings it is more of a like a living formula you put it on and you wake up in the morning and this one gives you baby skin especially if you are acne prone skin and you tend to break out once in a while i find that if i catch the acne you know the night before or a redness i put this on and the next morning is completely healed because it has niacinamide it has other amazing ingredients and it helps to also like smooth the skin and i love this i don't use it every day i use it a few times a week or whenever i remember you know because a lot of times my routine is whatever i can get <laughs> done but if my skin is not looking that great i find that I put this on and overnight it wakes up really glowy and it is a little expensive so I highly recommend getting during the sale. I have countless times that I have repurchased this so and again I have given it as a gift as well and other people that received this as a gift my friends love it and one of the reasons I like this mask the most is that it does help with acne even though it doesn't say it helps with acne it does it helps to clear it up it helps the inflammation and if you catch it on time it 
really stops it. So if your acne prone skin is a good mask, because a lot of night masks can break people out. And again, I'm acne prone skin and I'll look like, but I have to be really careful. Recently, I tried a product that I mentioned on my other videos that I put it on the next morning I had a zit. So my skin is, is very acne prone and it tends to you know, immediately dislike a product, it breaks out. So this one never broke me out, quite the opposite. It cleared me up many times, so I will be repurchasing and I highly, highly recommend. I do love pharmacy products. I There's many products that I have used in the past, but this is my current favorite from pharmacy and I definitely recommend. Another one that I recommend is actually not expensive, but I like putting it on the sale because why not? Is their Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Because I find that I buy more of my... Oh, sorry. Oh, my camera's a little... Yeah, there you go. Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I love this mask so much. Again, empty. I have purchased, repurchased countless times. I lost track of how many times I bought this. Because, again, it's one of those night masks that if your skin is not looking so great or dehydrated or you're just not feeling your best... Put the mask on and in the morning you wake up with glowing skin and this one of consistent masks that never broke me out and you can even use this one guys with your foreo bear i have a whole video talking about foreo bear hacks so if you do have the bear or thinking about getting it make sure you watch that video i'll put the link in the description box below and tells you many different ways you can use your bear and you can use it with this mask it is beautiful you can save on time with your tool and also help the mask absorb i'm sorry for making some noise i got this new chair <laughs> so it's making like crick 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 it's kind of funny so i don't know if you guys can hear it but is this new chair i got is like a kneeling kneeling chair because it's supposed to help your posture i don't know i'm just starting using it so if it makes kind of cranky noises that's what it is <laughs> anyway so i love this mask so much it is not, it's actually pretty affordable but i like sneaking into my cart during the sale because you can save some extra money why not and it's something that i have repurchased many many times and i highly recommend another thing it is a great time to purchase it is my favorite sunscreen and you guys can see it i definitely need it i squeezed the last of it yesterday and i'm so glad the sale's coming up because it is also kind of expensive but i love this one so much it's from super goop is the unseen sunscreen oops no, no, no. there we go this is so good guys i love this because it's not it doesn't give you a white cap i mean it is very, well, let me see if I can squeeze a little more of it. Yesterday I was like, Ugh. like, you know, with toothpaste, I was like, please come out because I had to go in the sun. I hope I can get something out. But I have purchased many of the, oh, there you go, during the sale. And it kind of almost works like a primer and it smooths out your wrinkles and pores. It's amazing. And I squeezed a little bit, the last of it. I'm going to put on my decolletage. Oh. My god my camera's kind of there you go so if you guys see is transparent and when you spread it it kind of blurs out your pores it wrinkles and it is beautiful and it's not greasy first when you apply it feels a little greasy but then it just kind of mats it it just mats it out and it helps to matte your pores and smooth your wrinkles it kind of almost worked like a makeup primer feeling to it like the silicone feeling but I love that it's really amazing to put it on and it is one of the sunscreens that I often use because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't become oily, it doesn't break me out and it in a way kind of blurs everything. It makes my skin look nice and, you know, blurred. So I love this. As you guys can see, I definitely need it. Summer is coming up. This is like a must, must have. Highly recommend. I hope they come up with this. This is the jumbo size that they had many years ago. It lasted me a long time because I'm actually pretty bad about using sunscreen. But this is one that I always picked up and I reach out. But they have smaller size now. But I highly recommend. And I have to buy it some more. Another product that I am obsessed. And I don't use that word a lot. I know some influencers use it. But I don't use that word a lot. But I don't know how else to describe it. Is the... We probably guys are probably sick of hearing this is all over social media and I think it's all sold out of Sephora But if you can get it during the sale great is actually pretty affordable is the rare beauty lip oil Which is not a lip oil kind of it's kind of like a lip stain and you guys can see I have it here. I'm wearing the happy I'm actually wearing happy on my lips and 
happy the blush on the cheeks and I don't have any makeup on I just really it's been a busy day I just put a little bit of blush for you guys and my lip and a little mascara but I love this guy so much I've been obsessed I literally had to drive like miles to get the hope one and this one because it was sold out in my sephora but i'll definitely try to get some other colors into my cart if they become available during the sale but even if they're not during the sale guys this is literally one of the favorite things that i've seen like released for lips because it leaves a stain like as you guys can see it's not really a lip oil which is marketed as a lip oil, but it's more like a lip stain. But the thing that I like it is I could never use lip stains before in my entire life because I tend to have dry patches on my lips. And this is actually a good demonstration for you guys. What I like about it is even though the shine kind of goes away pretty quickly, kind of pretty quickly actually, within the hour or less, uh, you are left with this beautiful stain and it doesn't go into my lines it doesn't go into my dryness patches i bought the victoria Beckham lip stain years ago i gave to my mother-in-law because when i put it on it looked beautiful at the moment it dried out it looked horrible i wish i had the photo to show you i even took it made my lips look sick you know like every dry patch it would just gleam to it and i couldn't even scrub it it was horrible so i had to give that away but this is a very unique lip stain because it doesn't do that. As you guys can see, even though I had it on for quite a while, um, the shine has gone through. But it's not like, like the normal lip stain clinging into patches. It is a little bit drying, like considering it's marketed as a lip oil. So the next you know suggestions that i have for you guys is what i've been combining with so what you can combine with is that once the shine is gone you can just use a regular lip balm on top of it and it revives it because this thing is stays forever and depending on the time of day that you put it on it may be on your lips overnight because it doesn't come off oops sorry it doesn't really come off with um makeup remover you have to put some sort of oil and i love it i highly recommend i have hope um shoot my thing fell like so far away <laughs> it just lighted out but there's so many reviews online so i don't really need to so i'm not gonna swatch for you guys because there's so many reviews online but i'm using the happy one that's the one i'm using right now and i bought hope they're very similar i'm not gonna lie hope and happy are so so similar the one that rolled off into the sunset is uh i think was called honesty is more of a brown color and actually it's really hard to swatch this on camera because they stain so even if i put them on my lips you will not be able to see the true color i did find a very good youtube um video that she did in many different days if i remember which um youtuber was that i'll put the video in the description box below because i loved her video she's a pretty small youtuber but it was amazing like i was searching for reviews on this and all the swatches on these reviews they are doing you know back to back but you can't really see the color when you do that because they do stay so this youtuber i forgot her name but i will find her video and I'll put it on the description box below because she put the work she did it different colors and different days and show throughout the day and when i watched her video i ran and bought even more because it was such a good video to see the true color so the one i'm using is happy and this is the color you left off hope is just basic a little lighter than this but I still wanted to get it because sometimes I just want a little more of my lips but better type of color but it's very similar so I wouldn't recommend buying Hope and Happy because they're too similar. For me it's worth it because it is kind of getting um, you know an extra an extra one because they're very similar on the lips basically just a little lighter. Um, so if I was to recommend I would not recommend Get Happy and Hope together since they're too similar for me worked uh, I want to get the more different colors I want to get the peachy orange one which is for the summer and also obviously you know definitely recommend any of her any of the Rare Beauty products are just so so good this one is a little hard sometimes you like you can get a little too much so you kind of have to blend it really quickly but I also recommend so I have both Happy and the Happy Lip Balm and um, Lip Oil slash lip stain and that's what i'm using today that's all i'm using today i don't have any other makeup on and i love this guys i highly 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 recommend if you can get it on the sale otherwise they're 20 dollars, pretty affordable as well another product that i definitely want to recommend for the lips which i have been using together with the <laughs> rare beauty one is the forget the filler from lawless is the lip plumping light smoothing gloss 
And as you guys can see, I'm due to purchase some more. And this is definitely worth it to get during the sale because mine is already, you know, they're more expensive. So I love the doe fit applicator. It's super comfy and soft and chubby. See? And I'm going to apply right now because that's what I kind of been using. I've been using on top of the Real Beauty on. I also have the clear one somewhere. But I love this, guys. It really fills up all the lines. It is sticky. So if you don't like stickiness, it is a little sticky. The Rare Beauty one is not sticky. So if you don't like sticky glosses, this is not for you. But what I love about this one is that it does plump your lips. Like you can see the shine and it plumps the fine lines. Uh, my lips are actually so much better because I've been using an LED light for my lips. If you're interested in that, I'll put the, list, the link in the description box below. But before, my, my fine lines were super, super more intense. Uh, this one would make them so smooth. So if you have like fine lines in your lips or you need some more volume, I highly, highly recommend. It doesn't hurt. It's not like those lip plumpers that make it hurt or become like, Lip, you know like a bee sting this will not make your lips like super big it just makes your lips it fills the lines makes your lips smooth and a little more plump it has a little minty taste to it but it's not like painful or anything oh by the way the rare beauty also has like a mintiness to it but less than this one and it's it doesn't plump your lips but it has like a little minty mintiness to it this one has a more strong mintiness mintiness so you do feel it more on your lips but it's not painful it's just super comfortable and i love the color this one is always all their colors are very sheer sheer so you can use it with like lip put it like a lip liner and then put them on top it's great to make it more long lasting otherwise they don't last as long on your lips but they do last nicely but if you are like in the, you know, outside and there's a wind, they will kind of grab into your hair, which that's what I don't like. But I love it for the plumpiness and it does feel almost like a treatment in a way. I love it. I really love this Lawless one, which I'm due to repurchase. And I will pur probably repurchase the red one too, which is a very sheer red. I put it on top of Hope and you guys can see how it just kind of revived the color a little bit and made the lips a little more plump so i highly recommend i love this one so so much let me see what else i think that's it guys if you guys have any questions or please let me know your recommendations if you guys are watching this live let's go to the chat let's take a look right now and i'm not using i'm not including the sh the chat on my uh, current videos right now because sometimes it gets to uh, my mix by videos too long so if you're watching this as a replay i'm probably not gonna include the chat but if you want to hang out in the chat in a future video make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos i love you guys so much please let me know your recommendations on the description box below and that way i can also see what are your favorite things that you guys are enjoying and which kind of things are you going to repurchase during the sale those are the things i'm loving at sephora and i'm probably going to repurchase as well so if you have any suggestions for me please make sure to comment below i love you guys so much i hope you're healthy and safe and i'll see you next time bye